Afghanistan is being overrun by crystal meth as U.S. begins withdrawal. Here's a summary of the article. Herat, for weeks, Afghan police had been staking out a single family house they believed was being used as a meth lab. Crystal meth, in particular, is suddenly everywhere in Afghanistan, fueled by the discovery that om, a weed that grows wild in the mountains, is an excellent source of ephedrine and pseudoephedrine, the drug's key ingredient. A mysterious grass. In 2017, rumors started circulating in western Afghanistan that a mysterious form of grass had been found to contain the key ingredient in crystal meth. Within a year cartels based in Iran Afghanistan's wealthier and better developed neighbor, which already had a booming meth trade had people regularly crossing into Afghanistan to train locals in how to spot the plant in the wild and use it to produce a cheap, but potent, methamphetamine. According to the European Monitoring Center for Drugs and Drug Addiction, ideal growing conditions cover 192,000 square miles in Afghanistan, about a third of the country. What's more, according to David Mansfield, an author and researcher who has been tracking the trade, there's growing evidence that meth coming from Afghanistan is of comparable quality to what's produced in Southeast Asia, Europe and Mexico. S. Anula, one of the addicts being treated at the Sadakat Center, said he first tried crystal meth because he was assured it would help him kick his addiction to heroin. This post received a score of 5,000, with an upvote ratio of 94%. Here are the top comments in response to this article. There is no way to fix this. The brush that basically blankets the entire country contains ephedra, and can be refined into liquid ephedrine, using bathtub chemistry. Pretty crazy to think that between the ephedra and poppies, the whole country is riddled with the precursors to meth and heroin. Zamzadi. And marijuana. Lol that last paragraph. I recall seeing that Bayer said heroin would be less addictive than opium, which was often given to wounded soldiers, resulting in many addicted veterans. Opium was legal and cheap. Bayer knew it wasn't less addictive. The real purpose was to provide a doctor with a painkiller so strong that a single handbag of supplies could serve hundreds of battlefield amputations. It is less addictive, but 99 is also less than 100. Heroin is more addictive than morphine and codeine, the primary psychoactive alkaloids in opium. The poster above meant morphine I assume. Diacetyl morphine. It's essentially morphine, but the chemical makeup of heroin allows it to cross more easily and readily through the blood-brain barrier. I wanted to add a little more lol. Having been a heroin addict myself and a chemistry student to boot, I know. It's just silly what the other poster said about it being less addictive. Does everything that grows in Afghanistan get you high? No actually there's plenty of crop fields and small gardens. Okra, strawberries, beans, pomegranates, etc. It's quite diverse really. Plenty of ornamentals too. Sell it across the Pakistani border and we will have breaking Islamabad. Jesse we have to go to the mosque. We have to pray to Allah. Hussainberg. Jesse, I'm gonna mix the chemicals, say bismillah. Wa al al abiyad. Sounds like they made it and are using it. Not sure how the US military comes into the picture. They just want to stay so bad. Dollar 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 dollar. This. The amount of clickbait alarmist headlines since that announcement is ridiculous and transparent in intent. Same shit ICE does. All of a sudden there is a border crisis, as soon as Biden takes office. Yeah right. I genuinely cannot tell if the situation is really getting that terrible, this quickly, or if the media is really really trying guilt the US into returning to Afghanistan. The same media that was complicit in the invasion of Iraq greater than the same media that was complicit in the invasion of Iraq our current president in the US is the Democrat who got us into Iraq Biden is the guy who bullshitted Congress, the most high-profile Democrat that helped GWB sell the lie to the American people, and then he lazily, half-heartedly tried to distance himself from it years later it's interesting how Biden never really had to, reckon, for Iraq, or for Anita Hill, or for much of anything really, because the media so obviously covers for him. This video was automatically created by Reddit to speech. The article and comments in this video were selected from Reddit according to their upvotes, and any paraphrasing was performed by smmry.com, without any human intervention.